What's up, everyone? It's James B2, that super duper Hearts of Iron 4 man, and today I've got something a little different than, um, Kaiser Reich. We're doing a mod spotlight of two Fallout Universe mods for Hearts of Iron 4. So, this one is uh, called War Never Changes, and in parentheses, it will say Whip, meaning Work in Progress. Now this mod shows a lot of potential. It's probably the most up-to-date one on the Steam Workshop in the sense that the mod authors put out a patch or a release for it within, you know, a week from me posting this. However, it is not the most comprehensive Fallout mod, but we're going to get into that later. First of all, this mod is, as the name would imply, or at least the asterisk, or not the asterisk, fuck me, the, uh, the parentheses would imply is not finished. Uh, this can be clearly seen in the focus tree. Every single country has a generic focus tree, and let me just go to observe. That way we can check around. See, Caesar's Le Kaiser's Legion, NCR, pretty much everyone does not have a focus tree. And this is a bit of a problem, because a mod, unless you are the one playing tends to stagnate because no one will spike the world tension, no one declares wars, and it's just kind of just a stagnant playthrough. Now, the mod authors obviously have the cautionary work in progress, but it is a bit alarming to see that they add so many factions, like this whole deep south here, this is all like fan-made factions, and they're not really fleshed out aside from having territory and cores. And they also have been adding locations from various Fallout games that are just there. They don't really serve much of a purpose. Though so, uh, it's apparent, it's plain to see that they put a lot of effort into the map itself. And I gotta give them mad props for that. That's impressive. There are also some interesting faction choices here. There's the Pro NCR, Pro Legion. I mean, I guess you kind of can argue that that's the best way to put it because the NCR doesn't really have a faction in the traditional sense of World War II or anything like that, and you kind of need people to be binded to them in some way, shape, or form. There's also a Brotherhood of Steel faction, though I'm not really sure I completely agree with how it operates because, as it currently stands, if you attack any, like, enclave, or shit, that doesn't make sense, any sector within the Brotherhood of Steel, you get the whole of it pissed off at you, and you can't annex it completely unless you peace out with the Texas Brotherhood of Steel, the original Lost Hills one, the Mojave one, which is here, and Recon Squad Gladius in the Commonwealth. And uh, that's obviously not that great. That all said, this mod has a lot of potential. It's being updated frequently for the entire player base of Hearts of Iron 4 to try out. And I've got to give the mod author a lot of credit for just putting in so much time and effort. Overall, it's something to keep an eye on, but I wouldn't completely give it a go out and try it now kind of deal, as there's a lot of things that need to be resolved before you can completely call this mod playable. So I'm going to take a cut here, and I'm going to feature a new mod. Another Fallout mod, rather. Alright, sweet. Next mod I have up here is Fallout Old World Loose. Now this mod, at least the version I'm showing you, has not been updated since October, November, I believe. But this is not what the current mod development state looks like. It is probably the largest Fallout mod for Hearts of Iron 4. And not the entire Hearts of Iron series, as I believe the Darkest Hour, Hearts of Iron 2, whatever it is, used to, or does, have a very comprehensive Fallout mod for you to play. However, this particular mod has a very extensive focus tree for even its very early version for both the NCR and Kaiser's Legion. If I could. Oh, I'm dumb. Yeah. Well, I guess Legion's a little bit less. But it's clear to see these guys know what they're doing. They have a big handle on the game. It appears most of the minor factions in this particular version don't really have focuses, but that's okay. Especially considering that I'm pretty sure this mod has been expanded 
infant infinitesimally uh, since this release. Um, a lot of the terrain features that were present in the work in progress uh, War Never Changes mod I pr uh, showed are kind of also present. Like they have the Mojave represented a lot more accurately, where there's a very narrow corridor into it. The big, not big MT is present actually, but also a lot of locations such as the Divide, all the classic Fallout New Vegas things. However, a downside of this mod that Old World Blues does seem to trump is this mod focuses almost exclusively on the west coast and they do plan to extend it out east but it's going to be a slow grind there. And I, I don't actually mind that all that much because they're putting in a lot of time and effort into all the factions they're creating. And I'll probably be putting up screenshots or something in place of just this footage that I've got right now. Because it's a mod worth mentioning. I really wish there was more content available for me to view, but from what I've seen in their Discord and in their mod DB slash Steam forums, it seems to be a mod worth checking out and worth holding your breath for. But what do I know? It could fall apart within, who, who knows, a month or two and all goes to shit. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the case. This mod in particular looks very trustworthy, and it looks like it's here to stay. So... Of the two mods, I'd say Old World Blues is the one you want to most put your time and energy towards expecting. But, uh, you know, give World Never Changes a try, with the caveat that World Never Changes is very unstable, especially when playing factions out east. The Commonwealth and the Southerner factions tend to crash mid-game, and that's something that the mod authors need to rectify. But yes, thank you for watching, and try out both of these mods at your own discretion.